guys, welcome back to the video. Uh, today I'm at I'm with the new Holland dealership. Uh, we're coming over to uh we're coming over here to Allen's farm to get his uh Case Edge quad track and his uh new Holland T9 that he borrowed from us yesterday. Uh, we're gonna go pick those two up. Uh, he wants us to do a little service on there on the Case quad track, so uh, we're gonna give that a little service. And, uh, after that, he'll come and pick it up, or we'll come and deliver it, and, uh, we'll see how we're going to be doing after that. Alright, so we're rolling up here to his house, or his farm. Uh, he told me to just, uh, park up front here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and park up over here. Uh, looks like looks like he left a shed door open. Oh well. But he told me to just go ahead and park my truck right here. Uh, my other partner's coming with me. So uh, we're gonna run over here and uh, we're gonna get both of these machines started up. First, we're gonna get the case Quadrac. Quadrac. Uh, I do have the keys for both of these as well. Uh, he he gave us he uh, put the spare keys. He he left us the spare keys when he when he came to pick up that tractor. He left the spare keys for that one, and obviously we have the spare keys for that one as well. All right, we're gonna get in here. I'm gonna start this puppy up. She sounds pretty nice. Case Quad Quadrac, you know. I, I, I honestly actually really do love Case. I really don't know why I'm a new Holland dealer, but yeah, you know what? Screw you gotta stay with the brands, guys. Stay with the brands. Alright, we're gonna come over here. Turn on this one as well. Uh, you know, we... This one, we like a little bit more because this is like one of our own brands that we love, so... That's also why it's up at the front. You know, I, I like my tractor... I like my main company tractor to be up in front, and that's the main company tractor. Honestly, Case Edge just sucks butt. I don't even know why I'm driving a Case. That's why I'm not driving a Case, because it sucks. So, we're going to get our... We're going to get this guy set up and ready to go. Turn his hazards on and his beacons on. Oh, wait. Turn the lights off. We don't need the lights on. And what we're gonna do over here? Gonna turn all that stuff on, eh? And now we're gonna go and uh, hopefully we will make it back to the dealership in one piece. Uh, sadly, we have to drive on the opposite side—not the opposite side of the road—but we have to drive. Like this, it's okay though, cause we are on the uh, Walker Farms property though, so everything, uh, everything should be good to go, guys. But uh, my friend over there should be covered up and ready to go. Don't worry, guys. He's just a little slow. We're gonna have to pull over, and I'll wait for him up here at the very top of the top of the thing over here. Or actually, maybe not. He he looks to be getting okay. But, uh, I guess I'll see you guys when, uh, we're, uh, we're close to the dealership. Alright, guys, we're looking out our back window here, and, uh, we're gonna kind of slow down for him. I just want to make sure our buddy Zoller is good. We're gonna stop right here. And now we're going to wait for him. I'm going to get out of here. Hurry up, buddy. Alright, time to get back in the quad track. About gosh dang time we can actually see the poor man. Alright. Let's get back on the road, boys. Yeah, and I know I'm taking the vlog, you guys, but... I got permission. I'm, that's why I'm using one of their GoPros today. 
I got their permission from uh, when I picked this stuff up yesterday. They dropped off a GoPro and charger batteries and all that stuff because, well, they obviously knew that I wanted that I was gonna vlog this for their vlog because, well, of course, as you guys can see, the most reason why. Um, we're gonna have to kind of not get hit by a car like that. Turn off all those lights over there. Uh, my dealership's right over here. Uh, this is gonna be the main entrance where we're gonna park right now. No, I'm just gonna show you guys. We're not gonna park there. Don't worry, people. Uh, you, you guys are used to this. Guys, the people that walk around over here in this area, they see this equipment, like, all the time. So, everything's going to be okay. And, of course, we get hung up on something. Oh, there goes the quad track. Wow, my partner's really angry. Because he's just kind of pushing us along. So, I'm going to park this tractor. Right over here, like this. Good enough. Alright, now let's. What's it? Let's get this car ready. But no, all you need to do is back up. He's just a lazy bastard. Uh. Alright. So for now what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna drop that like that. And uh, we're going to park this case in the shop because we don't really like case at this dealership at all. So we're going to we're just going to park it right here. And I'll call it a day. But I will see you guys uh, here in a little bit, I guess. I think. I don't know. Oh, man. 7 in the morning, guys. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys notice, the tractors are gone. Bill and Dave took them. They took them earlier this morning, I guess. So, um, this tractor, we don't really have much to do today, so, well, this tractor, uh, what happened was, we, we had some failure happen with it, um, we noticed that some stuff did fail, so we're gonna open up this door here, uh, because we need to open up this door. And we need to get Big Brute out of here. If I can climb the ladder. Oh, well. Alright, because we need to service this boom. Because that is... 
that's gonna be the next stage because what we're gonna do after is we're gonna prepare the field I'm preparing the field means getting the field ready for all this so normally now how we would do it is we would put it on that concrete pad and do it that way but uh, it's just because of how cold it is we're going to put it out here not out here we're going to we, we want to put it in here today cuz it's winter and obviously it's cold so Well, that's not gonna work. Oh wait, maybe I have to. That's why. I, maybe you have to turn on about again and start off. X E. Yeah, there we go. All right. So just to make sure, okay, we can go a little bit more on that side. We can go a bit more on that side. Okay, that side's good, that side is good, now let's go and buy our skid steer, because, yes, guys, I totally spaced on buying a skid steer, I, like, totally spaced on it, um, we're gonna go with the wheeled one, I don't care, we're not even gonna get that, we're getting a telehandler. We're getting this new Holland telehandler, uh, main color. Let's do a half and half. Wait, design color. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we want the beacon light design. Oh, no, wait. Let's have it like that. So that, that looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and buy that. I'm going to come over here. And we're, we're going to go telehandler. And we're going to get the pallet fork. And we're also going to get... We're also going to get the forklift, high lift, engine set up. We need that big engine. Okay, we'll keep those tires like that. Um, crap, where the frick is... Is it miscellaneous? Yes, it is. Right there. Wait, I forgot I have the... I have, like, a whole bunch of these shelf packs, too. They're pretty lit. Alright, so we're going to get this. Okay, and voila, just like we planned, everything is going to spawn in right here. For this job, we are going to use, obviously, the forklift. Because the forklift can get into a lot bigger spaces. Well, a lot smaller spaces, sorry, than... So we're going to open that up just like that. So first we're going to do the left side. Okay. Bring that up to that. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Drop that down a bit.
perk it like that. And of course, the beacon light does not want to stay on. Oh well, at this point, I really don't give a crap. Okay. Come on. Okay, we're gonna have to do this the hard way. We're gonna have to go yeet, and then yeet, and then yeet. And then from here to here. Alright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call one of the buds here so he can lower us down a bit more. And then after that we're just gonna do all these little connectors and then we're gonna move on to the other side and finish those connectors. Alright, just got done with the last one on this side. Uh we're gonna get down now all right now we we do have the brute uh it is on right now we we decided to let her run but now this one now this one we might have to use the telehandler yeah we're gonna have to use the telehandler for this one But it's okay. Got me an old forklift here. Can go right over here in this lovely corner. And now I'm not talking trash on this. But guys, we are not picking up uh the quad track today. Uh we're actually gonna trailer it back tomorrow or in a couple days. I told him to kind of do a little bit of a, I, I told him to do kind of like a bit of a checkup on it as well because I want them to make sure that everything is good on it because you guys know how I run my stuff, so uh, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, okay, let's Bring that like that. Okay. And let's park this. Like that. And then... Bring that up. And bring that like that. And then this. Whoa! physics please oh yeah, I forgot it's farming simulator there is no physics <laughs> no I'm kidding there is selected mode all wheel steering thank you for the nice information I really appreciate it and I totally needed that information because I really did not need that information but what we're gonna do is We're gonna back up. And park it up like that. That should be good enough. And yet. Oh, God damn it! It does suck because I have to do this like every time. Like every time when it, when we have to service it, this is how we have to do it. And unfortunately, we have to follow the procedures. But yet again, we're gonna have our buddy uh, lower us down, and uh, see you guys when we're done with this side. Oh man! All right, we are now done with this side, and now let's move on to the other row. Alright guys, it's like 9 o'clock or something now. We just got this done. Yes. The big brew and this tractor have been running the whole entire time. Don't mind that though. All I gotta say is they'll be fine. Okay, now I can... I can drop that, and then this. Can 
go a little bit. Nope. Back about that. And that. Oh, nope. That can go like that. I can turn off the beacon because we don't need the beacon on anymore because this, this machine is not in use. As of right now. And we're going to park this mug. Right. Right here, and actually, we can fit the skid, the bobcat, or the forklift right there. If we honestly wanted to, we probably could. So let's go get in here. Fold these in. Because now these are ready. Yes, the door is open. I know. Oh, okay, doors. Doors kind of going everywhere. Dang it, door. Oh, okay, door slammed shut. <sighs> Why does this big brute go so freaking slow? So. Great, we're just gonna park that mug right there like that. This isn't gonna go. Like that, and this. We're gonna crank her that way. We're gonna crank her that way, and we're gonna go back, and then we're gonna crank her that way, and we're gonna go all the way forward. And. We're gonna turn her off. And. I don't think we are actually done because we got to get some stuff done on here still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this pickup truck because, well, we don't need the pickup truck out here. It's okay, we'll park it like that and then can lift that up. And then, yes, I know, I'm just going to drop this down so that we can do that. But I also want to see another thing because I want to see if they fixed it in the update. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that they fixed it in the update. All right, so we're going to park it up like this. Yes. They fixed it. Okay, well, we, well, we need this thing running anyway. Back it up a bit. That should be good. I don't know what you guys are probably wondering. Why do we need that up? Well, we need it up, so... Uh, you know, obviously, we can check the oil and all that stuff, so let's... Get up here and the oil pan is right here. Wait, no, right here. So we're gonna drain out the oil, guys, and we'll see you guys when we're done. Alright, everything looks good. Finally got her done. That actually took a pretty long time. But we're gonna put the lift down. And we're going to back her off. Of course, there's a pickup truck there. What is there not? Just a random old pickup truck just not chilling here at the shop. We'll just leave it running. Because literally all we're doing is backing this up and putting it in that shop and then that's gonna go on the lift probably or something like I don't know but um well, actually we need to find a spot for the skid steer we didn't we even buy it no we, we didn't even buy a skid steer okay 
Hey, back her up. Okay, leave us a little bit of room. Turn this stuff off here. Get out of there, and I think... Brute combine we don't need to do anything with the combine just yet uh both combines though are gonna have to go to the uh shop because they're gonna have to go to the case dealer but the case dealer that we have up here is currently closed so that's why we're going through the new holland dealer so hopefully by harvest season of like the next harvest season that's going to be available hopefully this is ready and we can get the stuff done because i really want to get But anyway, uh, that combine is going to go to the New Holland dealership as of right now. It's going to the New Holland dealership to get fully serviced. Both of them are. And then uh, it'll be good to go, but I think this is it. So we're going to close this garage up. And we're going to close that one up as well. And we're going to get in this truck. And we're going to... Park. We're gonna park her up right over here. Gonna drive her up onto the lift. Cause. No, I'm just messing around. Cause we're, we're not gonna put it on the lift. But we're gonna put it. Over here in this way, so that way there it that way there it's out of the way. As we almost hit like four other things in the process. So um guys, we might be having some new tractors coming to the farm. Some old ones that have been restored and a couple of them we did restore ourselves little disclaimer on that sorry for those of you that don't like disclaimers some of them we did and do on our own gonna close this door up and for a second I thought that, that was a door that was open but it's not um, and this is where history is gonna happen guys history is gonna happen right here and I really wish that this thing would kind of work but you know, this time it doesn't work, unfortunately. But that's why we have this ladder, and that's why we have that forklift. And the telehandler is because, I'm just saying, the next build that we have coming into this shop is going to be a little crazy. Because we are going to be using it for, like, the whole logging series, well, if you want to call it a logging series, because we're actually going to be going to that property today, or tomorrow, we're actually going to be going to that property tomorrow, in tomorrow's video, we're going to be doing that, uh, we're going to be going out to that property, and, uh, we will have... We're going to have around like $300,000 to play with because I'm editing out this 1.5 mil. Because we don't need that much yet. Well, we don't need that much. I might leave in like a little bit extra. But I'm going to show you guys where the field is that we're going to be going to. Because it's going to be like a long, a lot of it. So... 
The field that we are going to is right here, field number 10. This is the field that we're going to be going to. So basically, all we're going to have to do is come over here to this place. And this is going to be like the, the main holding area. But we're going to come over here, and not the whole field, guys, is filled with trees. But I don't know what these people were thinking, but they planted trees and all that. It's 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 weird. I don't get it. I don't know why they wanted to have trees planted in this field. Maybe they were selling the trees for something else. But most of the main stuff is going to be stored here in this shed right here. I'll, I'll, I'll enter the vehicle so that you guys can see. And, of course, the shed door is open. Doesn't really matter if we're leaving anyway. But that's why this is our second combine, as you guys can, can obviously guess. This is our, like, little old flatbed truck that we did restore a long time ago. And we're going to have another truck here. Probably the semi-truck with... The, this is probably going to be where the IT runner truck goes with that big container. Because I'm going to buy another trailer and hook it up so that we have two of those containers. Because I really do want two of those containers out here. Because I know it's going to get a little hectic. And I just want to make sure that also there is a sawmill. Wood sale. Okay, yes. So this is where we're going to go to sell the wood and all that for the video. So with that being... Wait, is this... No way. No way. Bet. Bet. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the friends if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys tomorrow for episode three of Game Episode Four of Game Miss. Peace.